Have you ever noticed how a tiny event, a single spark, can ignite a wildfire, or how a small change in brain activity can trigger an epileptic seizure? In many natural systems, including biological ones, small perturbations can lead to massive, unpredictable effects. This phenomenon is called criticality, and it appears that life itself has evolved to operate near these critical thresholds. But why would life exist on the edge of chaos rather than in a stable, predictable state? To understand this, imagine balancing on a tightrope. If you lean too far in one direction, you fall into rigidity, where nothing changes and adaptation is impossible. If you lean too far the other way, you collapse into randomness, where everything is chaotic and survival is unlikely. Living systems seem to stay in the perfect middle ground, where they are flexible enough to adapt, but stable enough to function. Take the human brain as an example. Neurons fire in complex networks, and scientists have discovered that these electrical signals resemble systems on the brink of a phase transition, like water about to freeze or boil. If the brain were too stable, we wouldn't be able to learn or adapt. If it were too chaotic, thinking would become disorganized, and neurological disorders might emerge. The fact that the brain seems to hover at this delicate boundary may explain why we can creatively solve problems, quickly shift attention, and store memories efficiently. Could this be why human intelligence evolved in the first place? The same principle applies to ecosystems. A rainforest, for example, has many species interacting in a web of dependencies. If a key species disappears, say a top predator, the system can suddenly collapse, leading to unexpected extinctions and environmental shifts. Why don't ecosystems stay in perfect balance? The reason may be that nature favors systems that can react dynamically, adjusting to change rather than resisting it entirely. Even at the smallest scales, cells and genetic networks behave critically. A stem cell, which can turn into any other cell type, is like a system hovering at a critical state, ready to shift into a neuron, muscle, or skin cell when triggered. This is why biological systems can respond rapidly to changes, whether it's a developing embryo forming organs or the immune system mounting an attack against an infection. If life exists near criticality, can we use this knowledge to our advantage? Could we design better treatments for brain disorders by fine-tuning neural criticality? Could we predict and prevent ecological collapses by identifying early warning signs of instability? Could we build artificial intelligence that mimics the adaptability of living systems? The biological criticality paradox forces us to rethink life itself. Why does nature consistently push itself to the edge of chaos? Is criticality a fundamental principle of evolution? And if so, what else can we learn by uncovering how biological systems maintain this fine balance? Understanding this paradox could not only solve mysteries about life's complexity, but also help us engineer smarter technologies, heal the brain, and protect our planet's ecosystems. The brain operates near a critical state where small neural fluctuations can cascade into large-scale network activity, enabling efficient information processing and adaptability. Studies using EEG and fMRI have shown that brain activity exhibits power law distributions, a hallmark of critical systems, suggesting a balance between order and chaos. This criticality allows rapid transitions between cognitive states while preventing runaway activity or complete dormancy. Brain avalanches, bursts of neuronal activity, follow statistical patterns observed in self-organized critical systems, suggesting the brain maintains a fine-tuned balance between stability and flexibility. This is like a sand pile just before collapse. At a single grain, and it might trigger a small shift or a massive landslide, much like neural activity in cognition and perception. Living organisms evolve to function near criticality, maximizing adaptability while maintaining robustness against external disturbances. Evolutionary simulations suggest that selection favors networks that self-organize near critical points, where small genetic or environmental changes can drive significant phenotypic shifts. This principle underlies rapid evolutionary transitions where minor genetic modifications lead to major functional adaptations. The rapid evolution of antibiotic resistance in bacteria follows non-linear dynamics, where a single genetic mutation can drastically alter survival probabilities under selective pressure. 
This is like a tightrope walker adjusting balance. Small shifts in weight can prevent a fall or cause a sudden collapse, mirroring how genetic variations can trigger evolutionary leaps. Cells operate near bifurcation points, where molecular fluctuations determine fate decisions such as differentiation, apoptosis, or immune activation. Mathematical models of gene regulatory networks indicate that cells use noise and feedback loops to maintain stability while remaining responsive to external signals. This criticality ensures that minor molecular variations can trigger distinct developmental pathways, allowing plasticity in biological responses. Stem cells fluctuate between different lineage commitments, and small changes in gene expression profiles can push them toward entirely different cell fates, demonstrating near-critical dynamics. This is like water at its boiling point. A slight temperature change can abruptly shift it from liquid to gas much like a cell shifting between growth and differentiation. The immune system operates at the edge of criticality, balancing between tolerance and hyperactivation to optimize pathogen defense while minimizing autoimmune reactions. Immunological networks demonstrate scale-free interactions, where minor antigen exposures can trigger mild or severe immune responses depending on systemic state. This dynamic allows rapid adaptation to novel pathogens, but can also lead to runaway effects, such as cytokine storms. The immune overreaction in COVID-19 patients, where minor viral loads triggered life-threatening inflammatory cascades, reflects a breakdown of immune criticality. This is like a thermostat with a highly sensitive trigger. Small changes in temperature can result in either a mild adjustment or an overcorrection, leading to extreme temperature swings. Ecosystems exist near critical thresholds where small disruptions can cause disproportionate effects, such as species extinction or ecosystem collapse. Predator-prey models and food web dynamics reveal that species interactions follow power law distributions, with cascading failures occurring when key species are removed. This criticality maintains biodiversity while allowing ecosystems to rapidly respond to environmental changes. The reintroduction of wolves to Yellowstone National Park led to widespread ecological restructuring, affecting populations of deer, trees, and even river flow. This is like pulling a single thread from a woven fabric. Sometimes it has little effect, but other times it unravels the entire structure. Cancer development often results from biological systems crossing a critical threshold where normal regulatory feedback fails, leading to uncontrolled cell proliferation. Computational models of tumor growth suggest that precancerous tissues fluctuate near critical states, where small genetic or epigenetic mutations can either be neutralized or lead to aggressive malignancy. Understanding these critical dynamics could allow early cancer detection based on small perturbations in cellular homeostasis. Precancerous cells exhibit increased genetic instability and small-scale mutations long before a full-blown tumor forms, suggesting a tipping brint dynamic in cancer progression. This is like an avalanche forming on a mountain slope. Small cracks in the snowpack may do nothing at first, but eventually one small shift triggers an unstoppable collapse. Bacterial biofilms exhibit self-organized criticality, where minor environmental changes can trigger rapid expansion, antibiotic resistance, or dispersal. Quorum sensing, the bacterial communication mechanism, allows populations to collectively transition between states depending on cell density and nutrient availability. This enables bacteria to switch from benign communities to pathogenic colonies through nonlinear population dynamics. Pseudomonas aeruginosa biofilms remain dormant under mild stress, but can rapidly transition into a highly resistant state when external pressures reach a threshold. This is like a crowd at a stadium. Individuals may behave independently at first, but a small trigger, a cheer or panic, can lead to a massive synchronized reaction. Heart rate variability and lung function exhibit fractal scaling and power law distributions, characteristic of systems operating near critical thresholds. These physiological systems dynamically adapt to internal and external stresses by maintaining fluctuations that allow flexibility while preventing failure. Deviations from this criticality are linked to diseases such as heart failure, where loss of adaptive fluctuations leads to catastrophic collapse. Patients with heart disease exhibit reduced heart rate variability, a sign that their cardiovascular system has lost its critical adaptability and is prone to failure. 
This is like driving a car with perfectly tuned suspension. Small bumps are absorbed effortlessly, but if the system stiffens too much, even minor road imperfections can cause damage. Scientists are attempting to engineer biological systems that leverage criticality for enhanced robustness and adaptability. Synthetic gene circuits designed near critical thresholds exhibit superior signal amplification and decision-making capabilities compared to binary systems. By fine-tuning biological feedback loops, researchers aim to create bioengineered tissues, smart drugs, and adaptive biosensors that function optimally at the edge of stability. Engineered bacterial colonies that detect environmental toxins exhibit tunable critical responses where small toxin concentrations trigger proportionally large protective responses. This is like designing an airbag that inflates just at the right moment, not too early, not too late, but at the perfect threshold to prevent harm.